Hi guys, this is Lee here from Wild Gold Helper. This is a part two video to our video about jewel crafters making gold uh, two. So basically, my previous video I talked about uh, jewel crafters and the fact that they can make gold by selling the uh, gems that they prospect. Now, obviously, jewel crafters can make gold many other ways, not just this way, but right now on mine, this is the way that I've been going with, and I want to see if her old gems would sell because she had a lot of gems collecting in her bank that she did not need anymore, so I figured it was time to sell them. So what we're going to do is just have a look in the auction house here to see if there's any auctions still up. Now, I'm not sure if you remember, but the previous video there was a lot of auctions, so this isn't that bad. However, it's all pretty much blue sapphire, so what I want to actually do is take a look here and uh, see if somebody undercut at me. Oh wow, somebody did undercut me a lot. So blue sapphires are all the way down to 1 gold 72 silver. Um, trying to see, here's Miner down here for a, a buyout of 6 gold, 50 silver, so that is major undercutting, and I, I have not been checking this tune, so I don't know how, like, when this undercutting started, but I'm not willing to take down my auct auctions of my blue sapphires and sell them for that amount, so I'm just going to leave them up, and if they don't sell, she will uh, get the mail showing that they never sold. What we're going to do though is have a look at the mailbox here and collect her uh, mail that's waiting for her. Alright, so if we look at this number down here, she currently has 591 gold, 29 silver, 49 copper. One thing I also want to point out, in my blog, if I'm ever writing about gold and how much a character made, I never take into consideration the silver and copper if there's a big amount of gold. Um, in their on that character basically because I just don't really see the point in trying to add that and figure it out so I just do the gold amount now if we have a quick look here uh, we'll see these auctions were up before I did the video and they never sold so we'll just get these out of the way now again keep in mind about this number I've actually wrote it down if I don't forget because we're gonna have to do some math here in a few minutes but that's the number 591 gold so I'm gonna start pulling out the auctions here and you know sometimes uh, when I'm pulling out auctions I'll actually take a look at um, who's buying my auctions sometimes or if a character like the same character is buying them but today I'm not really paying attention to that because this is a uh, video to show others the end result of uh, trying to sell these gems basically so you can see here, um, yeah, there was a lot of stuff sold. That last one was um, some citron uh, gem for, I think that said 30 something gold, I can't remember now, but um, our new amount is 769, so we're going to bring up a calculator here, we're going to put in 769, that's the amount down here subtract my old amount which I believe was 591 178 gold alright so when, you, when I look at that amount I can say that you know hey that's that's not that bad because that is from her remaining uh, gems that she no longer needed however it's bad in the case of uh, jewel crafters when they prospect they need five ore to prospect if we take a look over right here um, it says search five ore of a basic metal for precious gems now there's times when a jewel crafter will prospect and you will get more than one uh, item basically it might be a gem whatever it might it might be a few things kind of pop out but if not you know it could be just gems and whatnot and you know having to prospect five of those at a time um, you know if you think about it a stack of 20 that's prospecting only four times whereas if you're selling 20 uh, well a stack of 20 copper for example you might make more money selling the copper than going and prospecting it basically um, 
So I mean that for some people that's actually probably not not a good thing if you're losing money, um, you know, trying to make money with your gems and you actually end up making no money. Now again though this was an experiment and for me this to me this wasn't that bad just for the simple fact that I used my rogue to up this character's jewel crafting. I took my rogue, I took him around to fly and gather up a whole bunch of stuff to mail to her the prospect, which might seem kind of cheaty, but I mean really it, it's not. If you ask me, it's not. I mean, it's not good for her because she's not doing it, but it was easier because he is an epic flyer, so I took my rogue, um, I mined whatever she needed, I mailed it to her, and then, um, which I'll, I'll actually show you, we'll get rid of this here and show you, um, her jewel crafting's up to 345, and she's level 56. That's really not that bad. Um, she's actually to the point now, if we have a look, that she can start uh, making stuff from uh, items you get in Outlands, and she's not even in Outlands yet. So, really, everything she makes now, the fact that it will be coming from will have to come from Outlands and she can't go there really isn't a good thing for her so again my rogue will have to be the one uh, dealing with it now an idea that I have for a video later is to make items like this like if you take a look at this this is a blue level 65 item but to make not a bunch but make maybe a few blue items put them up and see what they sell for and if they uh, have a dem like if they have a bit of a demand or not because you know, some people want to twink out their tunes and they will spend the money on those items, but other people are just gonna, you know, in some cases maybe just do a bunch of uh, instances with a random group and get their items that way. Or have someone in their guild or friend list make them items, you know, to save on buying stuff on the AH. That is a potential project for later, though, right now, of course. Um, it isn't going to be one right now, but. Either way, um, like I said, the uh, point of this video was just to show others that uh, you can make a bit of gold from selling your old gems, which again, like I said, let's have a look here, 178 definitely is not an amazing amount for what she sold, however, it's not a terrible amount either. Either way, though, that is basically the uh, part two, the end of this video to my jewel crafting video about those gems. So, um, you know, if you enjoyed the video or have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them in the uh, comments section. Um, as well, if you like, you can check out my blog. There's other information there on other uh, projects that I do and experiments. Either way, though, I hope you enjoyed my video and have a nice day.